Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing, man? It's Anelli here, answering your questions today. Today's question is on hot tubs and cold tubs, and what the hell are they? You hear all the time, all oh, this player, you know, say, oh, I jumped in the cold tub, I jumped in the hot tub. Um, what does that mean? Uh, what do they look like? When do you do it? Why do you do it? All that stuff. So let's get into it. Pretty much, not pretty much, in every major league clubhouse, somewhere in the clubhouse, not actually like in the middle of the clubhouse, it's not like they got a big jacuzzi just chilling in the middle around the lockers, um, but somewhere in there, you're going to have a room that's going to have hot tubs and cold tubs, and in every spring training complex, you're going to have a room that has hot tubs and cold tubs. Depending on how nice your complex is or how new, that'll depend on how nice the tubs are. So for instance... Um, in spring training, when I was with, let's just pick out the Orioles, they had a really nice room with hot tubs and cold tubs. So you walk in, and um, basically it looked like you were in like a really nice spa someplace. So you walk in, and you would just go down these steps, and you're into the hot tub or the cold tub, whichever one you're getting in. And they're big. You can fit like 10, 12 guys in there. You can swim around almost if you want to. I mean, they're pretty large. Um, and so you would just jump in and either go hot tub or cold tub. We'll talk about that in a second for as long as you wanted. In other places, like, um, for instance, with the Padres in spring training, and they may have changed since I haven't been to their spring training complex in seven years now. Um, they had these little tiny tubs. Like, you ever watch Major League, the movie? When he gets into the tub and he has to like start the thing, it's not like that. But they're like little tinier tubs that you have to kind of jump in. They're small, only one guy, and they're either going to be filled up with hot water or cold water. So those are the two that I've seen. Um, usually in the big league clubhouses, like in San Diego and the major league clubhouse, they have like the nice big ones. Um, and most major league clubhouses I've been in have the nice big ones. Um, usually in the spring training complexes, those are the places that I've seen kind of the smaller ones. On the minor league side of things, you always see the small ones. Like, you don't typically see the big ones. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a big one in the minor league um, spring training clubhouse. So you've got, those are two different types of tubs, okay? Now, what do you use them for? A um, couple different things. The hot tub, usually players will jump in those earlier. So, like, before they go out, a lot of times players get in, right? It's early in the morning. They want to kind of loosen up. They feel a little tight. They jump in the hot tub. Okay, jump in there for say, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Um, and then they jump out and they get ready. They get dressed, they get ready to go. All right, kind of loosens up. Or they'll jump in there, get loose, then they'll go in and get a stretch and all that stuff. Um, the cold tub is usually, usually players use that after a long workout, right? Um, although there are some players, and this is kind of, I don't know if this is new, um, but some people will get in really early into the cold tub to kind of shock their system and kind of wake them up, right? So um, you'll see some guys like Tony Robbins, I know, always talks about how he takes like a, you know, a freezing cold shower, wake them up and stuff. Like some players will do it. They'll jump into like the really cold tub early real quick just to kind of shock them, get them going, get their body going, and then they go. But most players will use it afterwards. Um, where they've had a long day, and so, you know, workout sometimes, spring training workout with the game and the workout and everything can be an eight, nine hour day. Um, you're on your feet a lot, obviously moving around a lot, and so you'll jump in the cold tub. Usually you'll jump in for same thing. I think players usually do about 10, 12 minutes, somewhere in there. You jump out, it is freezing cold. Like, if you've never been in a cold tub, a lot of guys hate the cold tub. And when you first go in, like, it like really does take your breath away to where you feel <gasps> like that's what you feel like when you jump in there. Some players stay away and never go in the cold tub. Some players just jump right in and it's freezing, but that's usually the best way to do it. Like I've tried a bunch of different ways because I used to try to take, do a lot of cold tubs, especially later in my career when I was always had my hand always bother me and hurt my hamstring and tried to get in there as much as I could. Um, you know, to try to do the old toe in the water, get my ankle in, then go up to my knee. Like, that's the worst. In my opinion, that's the worst way to do it. I used to just try to just get in quick, go down, come up. It's freezing cold for a few seconds, and then you get used to it. So players will do that, okay? Then there's also what's called contrasting, where you go hot tub over to cold tub, back to hot tub, over to cold tub, back to hot tub, and you'll do that like 12 minutes or so. So you usually go like two, I think it was like two minutes in each one. So you grab a little timer, set it, two minutes in the hot tub, two minutes in the cold tub, back to the hot tub, back to the cold tub. 
I'm not smart enough to tell you exactly what it does. Um, but a lot of players do it and they used to recommend it to us. And so I used to do that also. And actually, like I remember when I was with the Orioles, a lot of guys would do that. And so that's kind of, I just jump in and go back and forth, back and forth. And my body actually felt really, really good most of the spring training with the, uh, with the Orioles. So um, I guess it works. I don't know. So those are basically the ways to do it. Um, and that's kind of what the hot tub, cold tub is. At least that's what it was when I played. Um, there may be some new thing over the last couple of years. I haven't been playing. Obviously, my last year playing was uh, for, you know, 2013 was the last year I was playing. So it's been a couple of years now. And maybe they've got some cool new stuff that I don't even know about. If they do and you know about it, let me know. Maybe they do it a different way. Put in the comment section below. Also, keep putting your questions down there, and I'll keep trying to answer them for you guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Uh, check out the description box below. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, check out our Instagram, Antenna Baseball, Twitter feed, Man1999. I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.